As constitutional and electoral reform continues in the TCI, advisor for the process Kathleen Sullivan gave an update on the process at the Hilly Ewing building this morning. I've just finished my first phase of consultation. That's the first of three phases that will happen during this calendar year. So I was going around the islands asking people to share with me their views on the current structure of government and what they might like to see changed in any constitutional reform process. I then will produce written recommendations that will be published in the islands in July and we'll have further rounds of public consultation for people to respond to those recommendations. While Sullivan admits that there has not been great attendance at the meetings, she says the reform team has worked to get the word out and garner more support. I think the atmosphere has been really good. People I think have been very constructive and it's been really helpful and informative for me. And I think the feedback I had is that people care very deeply about their government arrangements and they want to participate in this process. So I was very pleased to see that people came out to talk about it. and. It's quite a, it's a fairly technical subject for some people, but I think people were very happy to engage and share their views and discuss amongst themselves as well as share their views directly with me. So I think that was a really useful part of the process. She says similar meetings as the ones held on Providenciales recently were carried out on the sister islands and there has been positive feedback from residents there. I mean, I think it's entirely up to people how they choose to participate in this process and some people are happy to just read about it in the paper and talk about it with their colleagues. We had the meetings and people were given the opportunity and we felt that we publicised them quite widely. But again, people have busy lives and it's up to them how they choose to participate. We um, Next time we might look at different times of the day and different venues and we're happy to take people's views of how they'd like to participate. So not everyone wants to come to a public meeting and some people have made written submissions. People can still do that, there's the chance to do that. They don't have to write a long submission, just a couple of lines in an email to say that they feel very strongly about a particular issue is certainly more than welcome. The process, according to Sullivan, is a structured one, with the role of the governor and other elected officials becoming a point of interest for most residents giving input on the issue. As clarification, Sullivan explained the role of the governor outlined in the current constitution. She says this role is under consideration for amendment in the future constitution. There are areas of what are called the governor's special responsibility is the term to be used. And those are external affairs, defence, internal security and the regulation of international financial services. In those areas, the Governor is obliged to consult the Cabinet, except in particular circumstances, about decisions he takes on those, but he is not required to follow their advice. Outside of those special responsibilities, Ministers have responsibility and the Governor is obliged to act in accordance with the advice of the Cabinet in those circumstances unless instructed to do otherwise by the Secretary of State on behalf of the Queen. That is what the Constitution says at the moment. Sullivan says it is the responsibility of future governments and the media to educate the public about the Constitution so that future processes of amendments can be properly carried out. The current Constitution is available online at lawconsolidated.tc. Sullivan says there are plans to have reference copies of the Constitution sent to district commissioner offices throughout the islands. The entire electoral and constitutional reform process is expected to be completed by January 2010. For WIV4 News, I'm Joy Del Trail.